If you enjoy the original Terraria, well, there's a sequel of sorts on the way. It's called Terraria Otherworld. There's no particular release date yet, but there has been a teaser trailer released. If you click the description of my video, you'll find a link to that particular teaser trailer here on YouTube. I suggest you watch it if you have any interest in the Terraria series. This video I made just on a whim to analyze each of the different scenes that are found in the teaser trailer. I've slowed it way down so you get a freeze frame effect on each particular scene. And I'm just going to provide a little commentary in my own unscientific way on what we see in the trailer. Here we're getting a look at the new corruption biome. A few things jump out right away. First of all, there's been a deliberate change in aesthetic away from the pixelated look of the original. There's more of a cartoony but elegant design to this. The light and dark has got smooth transitions. The texturing of the ground and even the undulations of the ground are a lot more organic in appearance. You see some vein-like structures in the ground itself. Overall, a lot less pixely and a lot less grid-like than the original. Next, we get a look at the brand new crystal biome. There's not much to say other than the fact that this is a brand new type of zone. What they do with it, whether there's any interesting twist, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see when we buy the game. Here we have some kind of hell or underworld biome. It's very open, and that may just be for demonstrative purposes of the teaser trailer. It's fairly bright. I like the design. It's, it's clean, if nothing else. But again, it doesn't really reveal too much, just as the name implies, a teaser trailer. This above ground scene reveals two things of interest to me. The first is on the left there. The lighting effects in the water I think are quite beautiful with the light kind of shimmering down through the depth. The other thing is in the top right, there's a bit of a mystery bar that may be tied to the weapon that's been equipped. It may be tied to the crystal devices we see later in the trailer. It's hard to say. This next area should be very familiar if you've played Terraria before. Clearly some kind of dungeon zone. You've got the thick wall barrier separating it from the rest of the world. You have the skeleton enemies, the furniture, all that good stuff. It's uh, a busy screenshot, but uh, pretty informative, and it reveals the fact that there's going to be another dungeon. This segment shows off two things. One are the beautiful explosive effects. Look much better when shown in motion, of course. And the other is the grid-like appearance of the terrain once it's destroyed. They've managed to marry the beauty of the new game world with the grid-like structure and fun gameplay of the original, which is nice. So we're shown here that much of the terrain destruction is going to be handled in a similar way to the original. Here we see a fight in progress between dragons and the player. And it's done in close proximity to some kind of cleansing device with the crystal attached. Definitely a snow biome. Not much to say other than that we see the purification device in action. And we know that we're going to get more than what we saw in the original in terms of enemies up in the sky. This might be my favorite scene in the entire trailer. The animations for these Cyclops enemies are awesome. Definitely a huge improvement over the original. It's also our first look at the tower defense aspect of the game. The purification device is in a different stage of its operation, and it looks almost as though um, these monsters are assaulting the position. So you've got to defend it. All in all, pretty encouraging in that, as I said, the animations just look superb. More of the same in this one. You have tower defense. You have a clear shot of a female player, and uh, more good animations of the enemies, some nice particle effects. Yet more tower defense with some new enemies. And what we see here is the purification device turning the corruption into the familiar and I would say rather welcome green forest grassland biome. So you're clearly there to defend these things against enemies that attack so that you can purify the world. Yet another purification device, and in this scene it seems unmolested. The scene is there to really show off the device in action. You can see it purging the environment of the corruption. And the same goes for this one. You see the device once again unmolested, and it's purifying the world from the corrupt ice biome to the purified ice biome. Is this the desert? Is it the beach? It's hard to say, really. It is interesting, though. I, I like the building we see in the background, and... 
Really what I like best is actually the wall texture on the far right. I think that looks really sharp, high quality. At any rate, uh, once again we see the player purifying his own. A clear disparity between the purple corruption and the purified sands. Not much really else to say about it. And finally, the grand scene from the trailer is really Terraria. This apparently is what happens when you successfully purify a region. Things of interest here are the exotic structures in the background and also the animations of the trees and the leaves as they sway in the breeze. It's all very nice. It's essentially Terraria on steroids. I really don't know where the player goes from here. It would be awesome if it somehow transitioned into a more conventional Terraria game, but we'll find out all of this in good time. I think I've received reports that there's a more comprehensive story this time around. There was really no story in the original. So all in all, nice trailer. If I had to compare this game to others, it was almost like the transition from Grand Theft Auto 1 to Grand Theft Auto 2 in terms of the nice visual bump. Or maybe more accurately, it was like the transition from the Free Spelunky, which came out for PC a few years ago and was very pixelated, and how that game changed to the Spelunky we know today, which is out on uh, Virtual Console and, and Steam and all of that, with a much more kind of smooth and polished art style, but while retaining the gameplay of the original. I'd say the Spelunky comparison is probably the better one. At any rate, I again uh, urge you guys to view the trailer, it's linked in the video, and then maybe to check out the rest of the developer's channel. They've clearly been putting a lot of work into this game, even if it won't be out for the foreseeable future, it's always nice to check out what they've done so far. So, if you've gotten this far in my video, thanks for watching my video. Like it if you found it interesting or useful, and by all means subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks guys.